What do you care? No one's even gonna hear this part. Hey, I'm future from a big fucking idiot. Bye, bye. Ah. Alright, this is gonna be in the uncut version, though. Oh, oh, oh damn, yeah. Wario, well, they really got out of hand. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Damn, 50. I just fixed up one of Pirates your Pirates took my Cause he didn't come in with nine bullet holes. That guy, that's the guy voiced by, uh, what's his name? Phil Lamar? Yeah. The boys brought you in here. Oh, the he guy got, who got shot by nine bullet holes? If not more. <laughs> Yo, man, try to relax. I'll give you something for the pain. Yeah, that's definitely Phil Lamar. Hey, we all need our medicine sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Doc Friday was a crazy fuck. An ex-doctor who lost his license when he started writing himself prescriptions. Some said he wasn't I hate that these cutscenes are actually framed well, really well. Take care of me, fix me. Well, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's probably where most of the fucking budget went to. The graphics are shit, but these cutscenes are actually framed and shot really well. And they're like, trying stuff. Like when they had him like, you know, forward and back and three at once. Yeah. Some fear and loathing yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And all from some fucking painkillers. Thanks, yeah. fat rapper. Think of pussy. <laughs> Think of pussy. Truth is, there isn't much else I could do. Just thought about pussy for six hours. Finding who bent me up. So hey guys, I'm Future Friends. I was back on my feet. He's Future Friend. It was time to get some help from my friends. You know how this LP shit goes. Oh, sorry to interrupt. He's future friend, he's future friend, and he's future friend. Yo, I'm future friend. I'm G-Unit. Anyway, so, here's the thing about the health system. In this, you can buy painkillers, uh, which can heal you in the back, which okay. can heal you in the game itself. Uh, you can buy full health kits, so, uh, which don't fucking do anything because they just heal you in the hub. <laughs> <laughs> and you can buy vitamin water, which oh, makes your health okay. bigger. I thought that was Pepto Bismol or something. Okay. Nope. This game. This game was pushing vitamin water before those commercials ever even hit TV. <laughs> Eternally grateful, cause I got him out from under their pimp, a nasty nigga named Raul. Oh my God. Oh, you alive? <laughs> hey, the hose. Uh, My hopes. Yes, these two characters. <laughs> You're getting blood all over their new funeral outfits, 50. <laughs> 50, come on, they were expensive. Mm, looking good, baby. Oh, baby. These two characters are in the manual and they appear in two cutscenes. Cool. And, hey, here's uh, my favorite member of the G Unit, DJ Wukit, who sells you your own music. What? DJ Wu Kid's got a good racket going. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this! Stuck in a hell of a recording contract. This was at a time before smartphones, whenever selling ringtones was the best way to make money. Damn it, I'll kill you! Give me my tracks! That's the thing, somehow, 50 does not have ownership of his own music. <laughs> I forgot this game has a hub area. Yeah, no, this yeah. is the hub area. Here is where you'll do stuff before before you actually go to missions. This game had like systems and it's like a it's a real shame about the controls. Yeah, no. That's probably the worst part about the game. Controls aren't good. You can see here I walk like I'm a fucking turtle. Yeah. <laughs> well, a turtle that's all muscle. Anyway, we need to get our stuff back, so let's go to uh bucks. Once in a great cool. while, he even sold something. I hope he's voiced by Phil Lamar. Most people assume yeah. He started that rumor himself. Whoa, whoa, everything's gone crazy. He on an elevator shaft when he was 12. Yeah, that dumb fucking idiot 12 year old. That's my stereo. And my plasma, too. What's all this doing here? You were shot nine times, dog. How'd I know you was gonna live? Man, get this shit delivered back to my crib. Hey, sorry, man. Oh, come on, I just robbed your grave a little! <laughs> Relax. This Stop serves it, as an introduction to all the hub characters in here, and looking for you, man. it also introduced the fact that every character in this game is completely unlikable. No, yeah. no. Sorry, dog. 
Hey man, what can I do for you? Oh, I don't have anything. Please go away. Thanks, Bugs. Weren't, weren't, didn't you just come out of Bugs' pawn shop or you were walking to it from the other side of the street just there? <laughs> I guess I was. Look, 50 Cent can teleport, okay? <laughs> oh man, my favorite character. No, wait, no, this is my second favorite. Yeah! By the way, this guy voiced by Dr. Dre. Not just voiced by Dr. Dre, that's his face model, too. That is Dr. Dre. Starring Dr. Dre. That is, that is, that is Dr. Dre lovingly rendered in Xbox graphics. <laughs> nice. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? You okay? Yeah. Moving a little slow. Don't worry about it. Dr. Dre's in this game. <laughs> like, they were trying to create this weird fiction where they're, like, all in this crying ring together. I know. <laughs> that was a hell of a shot. <laughs> Look at this. Look how well directed these cutscenes are. Someone worked so hard. I need to see popcorn. You know, get your skills back together. That crazy ass I see popcorn. Of all the street, of all the street names, popcorn is the most threatening. <laughs> you will see why he is named Popcorn. He really likes popcorn. Yeah. Moet, Shondon, Bugs, Popcorn. What are you doing to your friend? Stop stalking him like that. Stop giving, stop giving Dr. Dre flat tires. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Those shoes are expensive. Oh, this guy. That's right. With the help of some angel dust, Popcorn escaped reality for good. Pop, say hello to my little friend! <laughs> so yeah, um, here's Popcorn's gimmick. He talks only in movie quotes. Yeah. Oh, he's, same. He's a PCP addict who talks only in movie quotes and shoots at people. He's great. Yeah. Sounds like he a great is character. the worst. Why is he the worst? Because he only talks in movie quotes set by 12 year olds all the time. <laughs> Man, hey, Popcorn's whole life was movies. He quoted them all the time. Before it shut down, he practically lived in this place. After it shut down, he did live in it. That line is one of my favorite lines just because of the way 50 Cent phrase it like it's a fucking joke. Got to get his skills back together. This is the guy who's going to teach you how to shoot. No, he is in fact going to teach you how to stab a man in the throat. Oh, that's right, right. He teaches you on your sick combo finishers or whatever. One day. Oh. <laughs> How about this instead? <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, God, head. shut, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> who wrote this character? I was like, yes, this is good. The guy who wrote Wolf on Wall Street. <laughs> By the way, I love how we can very clearly tell that you have a European Xbox because armor is spelled with an unnecessary U. It is extremely necessary, and you are just a fool. Whoa. I'm here, man. Talk to me. I'm also disappointed that they didn't make all of these interactions in the menu also phrased as movie quotes. <laughs> Please, find me a movie quote that describes every weapon that we could buy from you. Come on. Every, Give me back my son. Give me the money. Two weeks later, we're still in our apartment. Okay. <laughs> 50, 50 Cent's a bit of a homebody. 50 Cent has just been eating like Doritos for two weeks on the couch, watching his vitamin water commercials. <laughs> he's, so, full of, he's full of vitamin water and Doritos. Mm. This vitamin water is going to make me live forever. Welcome to 50 Cent's apartment. Uh, the main purpose of this is to switch out weapons. Switching out weapons, in fact, does not fucking work. No. Nope. What? what do you mean? It doesn't work. It doesn't work because for some reason you can only put weapons in like your back holster. Yep. Also, you can put, uh, you can watch TV things like a Tony Yayo interview or the oh. vitamin water ad. <laughs> oh, you can also get the you can also get the Formula Fifty diet supplement huh. commercials. When did TV start sucking so much? <laughs> when the Fifty Cent channel started airing. Oh no. Fifty Cent all this week on IFC. Was oh, this is sad. Started hanging out around the hood a while man. back. For some reason, K Dog took a liking oh, to me. Hey, huge friend. <laughs> I need to see you back. 
Saudi Here, have my old, all my old Dr. Dre albums. I don't need them anymore, friend. <laughs> <laughs> Fred's sitting on a pile of newspapers with an Xbox plugged into a trash can. Right up there around the corner. Is there anything you don't see? Can't see no leftovers. I ain't got no house because I spent all my money on this Elgato. Oh, bless you, son. <laughs> God bless. I'm a washed up LP, you see. Dives right back into the garbage. That's what he does. He's a hobo. <laughs> That's all they do. <laughs> that is their only purpose in life, apparently. <laughs> Listen, I'm not homeless. I'm just between homes. <laughs> Yeah, my actual favorite character. Yeah. Alright, so, uh, this guy actually kind of owns because he just makes fun of 50 Cent a lot. That's what I do. It'll take more than nine bullets to bring me down. Yeah, thanks. I'll remember that. He is both voice and face modeled by Eminem himself. And it's weird, too, because they added gray hair some Eminem. <laughs> Now this is back when Eminem still had blonde hair, but instead of blonde, they decided to make it white. I'm just saying, they're a lot of money. Okay, how much? It's like a platinum blonde. He's, yeah, he's Sephiroth. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you fight Eminem at the end of Final Fantasy 15. Telling me what happened to K Dog. Last I saw, your boys was putting him in the squad car. And after that, the FBI took over the case. They're holding him as a witness. A witness to what? The fuck do I know? Every I know single radio in this game plays a 50 some Cent song. This is just like a motherfucking dictator state in which 50 Cent rules all. <laughs> and yet still DJ Who Kid sells him the music. <laughs> Listen, if you can like just scam the shit out of <laughs> King Young Un, wouldn't you? <laughs> You're gonna owe me one. A fucking big one. Alright, alright. Mick Vicker is such a made up name. Garsdale up in uh, Westchester. You wanna write this down? Give me a fucking pen. A pen? Where was that girl keeping that pen? Where was she keeping that pen? Where was she keeping the pen? <laughs> as soon as I left me, I went to see Greg. Prostitutes you know, have ways, my friend. Dead. Shit, if I found it, anybody could find it. So, anyway, we've basically unlocked everyone in the hub area now, and okay. the only thing you really need if you want to actually play the game itself is to get to Doc Friday or Gris. Oh. Uh, Doc Friday sells you medicine and Gris just sells you guns. Yeah. I really wanted to do more of those cool camera angles. I guess he doesn't then. <laughs> I ain't got nothing, <laughs> sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry man, I, I, I guess I stopped selling guns. All out of guns. Special. Special. Serial. <laughs> All of the dialogue is cut off, I love it. Yeah, <laughs> here's the thing about the game, the sound design is fucking awful. Listen, you gotta cut corners to fit all that audio on one disc. We had to pour all of our time and effort into the cinematography. Everything else gets cut back. If it means we have to cut a half a second off of every line of dialogue, goddammit, we'll do it. Can't wait to go to Brooklyn. Who developed this game? Uh -huh. Um, let me just take a look, actually. From this point on, I bet it's take two. Uh, Fendi Universal. But... Oh my god. Oh no. Make sure security don't spot you, or you have more friends than even you can handle. Alright, so now that we're in the actual game, uh, this seems to suggest that it's a stealth level. It's not. It's not. There's no such thing as stealth. As soon as as soon as you come within an enemy's like zip code, they immediately know where you are. Yeah. Also, if you can't tell, the aiming in this game, garbage. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the weird thing about this, though. I think stealth was actually, like, kinda abandoned mid-development, because there is an actual sound stealth kill attack you can do. Yep. Hmm. Hell yeah. Yeah. There's, a, there's, there's also, like, special animations for long-range headshots, mm -hmm. which makes hmm. me think that at one point there were supposed to be silenced weapons. Well, there is a silenced weapon. It's the Phantom right here. It's worthless. It's just a gun. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, this is the this is the level where you get the silenced pistol. And yeah, when you get a, a headshot with it at long range, it has like a special animation for it. Oh, I've never seen that. 
It's like when you put when you put the reticle on someone's head, like a circle in the center of it, it'll start to get smaller. And if you wait for it to get all the way into the center before you shoot them, it'll do like a thing where like the camera follows the bullet as it goes towards them. Oh no, that that's just a regular thing. Oh, your LP okay. stolen out from under you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Listen, let me let me tell you a story about how I received this game Christmas Eve. <laughs> oh, no. My little brother, God bless him, decided that he wanted to he wanted to pull some of his money together and get me a video game for Christmas, and he handed me a copy of Fifty Cent Bulletproof, <laughs> and I played it for about an hour and didn't have the heart to tell him that it was the worst video game I'd ever played. So one day, <laughs> so one day I secretly handed it to my mom so that she could sell it at a yard sale she was going to. Oh, I thought you were going to say so she could play it. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Hey, mom, I know how much you love ultraviolence. I love Fifty Cent G Unit for life. Woo. <laughs> My mom loves two games, Animal Crossing and 50 Cent Bulletproof. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there it is. And he's trying. Oh, hey. Well, some guy behind some rocks. Also, it, this game is definitely a product of the early 2000s because enemies will just spawn behind you. Yeah, no, there are, is no where enemies actually spawn from and there are no limited <laughs> enemies. The game just kind of decides when to stop spawning enemies. It would be nice if it were polite, like Turok or something, would make a really loud noise to let you know that a guy was spawning behind you. That's not the 50 cent left, so. <laughs> Speaking of, I'm glad that we're getting right into things here with just brutally murdering federal agents left and right. <laughs> not to, excuse you, brutally, fe brutally murdering federal agents left and right and platforming, so. Yes. The two mo the, the the two the two facets of the gangster lifestyle. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but Fifty Cent once put out he put out a mixtape all about uh, platforming. Got visitors. I got a visual. Oh, yeah. Hey yo, son, I'm hit. Where you at? You better back down or be tagged at the morgue. What a good line of dialogue. You better back down or be tagged at the morgue. Hmm. Huh? Also, <laughs> God, d ooh, yeah. If you thought the ones, that, if you thought the ones in, in Blood on the Sand were brutal, that guy is just spraying blood out yeah. of the top of his head. <laughs> yeah, just like, like during that step, though, your buddy was just standing awkwardly off to the side, like, oh, oh you got this one, uh, all right. <laughs> Very well. Like, Fiddy, do I have to go here? Or are you? Uh... So is... why does that one gun say it has 19 of 16 bullets? Um, alright, so that's basically how many bullets you have left in your clip, and, uh, how many clips you have. Oh. That's called a magazine! So, fun fact about this game, by the way. Oh. So you think, like, this game looks fucking awful, right? Sure. I mean, it's it's not a great looking game, but as far as like Xbox games went, it's not bad. I, I mean, this is a PS2 game. Oh, oh right, you're playing on PS2. That's right. Yeah, because I'm not a sucker who bought an Xbox. Huh? Hey, well, well, at least Xbox, he can't right. die. Just be slowed down. Well, of course he's bulletproof. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't you read the title of the LP? <laughs> but anyway, back to the point I was trying to make. Despite this game, like, looking bad, Ted, because it was released in an area in which 50 Cent was popular, this is one of the few games which actually got a platinum reboxing for the PS2. Oh, oh yeah, just, sh just showing that with enough money, even you, <laughs> you too, can trick the Xbox into thinking that your game was great. <laughs> also, what, like, for all of its faults and everything, the one thing that I, I always noticed about this game as I was playing it is, it has a really consistent frame rate. Yeah, this is pretty smooth. Like, the motion blur is god-awful in this game and everywhere, but, like, the frame rate never really dips, no matter how many people are on screen, I notice. You know why? It's because it's 25 to 30 frames per second. Yeah. Oh, good, don't overextend. Yeah. It's yeah. cinematic. Oh, yeah. Hey, ah! hey there, <laughs> friend. Hey, I like you looking at you like, hey man. He looks, he looks very inquisitive. Like, are you really mm -hmm. Fifty Cent? I can't believe I'm standing right next to you. I love the Xbox logo on his hat. <laughs> hey man, you got some gum? <laughs> <laughs> Why? 
Floyd Banks, take some initiative and search the damn house yourself. Floyd Banks, stop running into walls. <laughs> Yo, 50, I'm not enjoying searching these basements. Maybe we could go to the Middle East or something. That'd be cool. Yeah. Could you imagine? <laughs> could you imagine? Could you imagine 50 Cent us in the Middle East for what reason? <laughs> for what purpose could we have to, to go to the Middle East? Lloyd Banks! Lloyd Banks is just messing with you now. Lloyd yeah. Banks, come on, get, get, get on the fucking team. Come on, Lloyd Banks, get on the pressure plate. I like how there's no noise to let you know that the door is open. You just have to be brave enough to go and try it. Mm-hmm. Alright, so we had to push a switch to push a switch to open a door. I hope there's just another switch behind this one. Yeah. Behind this door is a set of keys. Now we have to wait for Lloyd Bex to come <laughs> around, though. Waiting for G-Unit. Taking his damn time. <laughs> He's right there in the room! <laughs> come on, Lloyd, let's go. Come on, Lloyd. I can't, Hurry up. Fast, yeah, I can't move too Come fast, 50. I can't move too fast, 50. I'm gonna do it. It might crease my new shoes. Come on. Pick up the pace. Drink your vitamin water. We gotta go. <laughs> What's wrong Did with you your have... neck? <laughs> what are you looking Banks? at? Lloyd Banks, pay attention. You okay, Lloyd? <laughs> Damn, Fiddy, I've been trying to get this water out of my ear all day. Man, i never seen an elevator so close before, Fiddy. It's so beautiful in here. <laughs> <laughs> you ever wonder what your life would look like at a Dutch angle, 50? <laughs> Look at him walking again. <laughs> I think Lloyd Banks is a 50-year-old in a 20-year-old's body. <laughs> Doc Friday stole all the tendons in his neck. <laughs> <laughs> this is the level. I play through this level, and then this is where I quit the game. Understandable. Yeah, this is a pretty good It crib. is a nice crib. I mean, it is, but I'm pretty sure you want a safe house to not be an extravagant mansion. Yeah. It's a little... It's a little conspicuous. Also, also, this place looked a lot huger on the inside than it did when you were coming up. Yeah, that's mainly because for some reason we have to come up from the basement, which is somewhere entirely else. So what you're saying is this, this, this mansion exists in impossible space. <laughs> All the hallways are longer than the geometry would allow them to be. Again, the cinematography! I love how 50 Cent's, like, entire character model has, like, four extra polygons just for his lovingly detailed lips. <laughs> for, for some reason, this cutscene in particular forgoes the whole movie, like, aspect ratio and just decided to put its cutscene at the bottom. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Oh, K Dog. K Dog, why? Well, at least 50 Cent has respect for the dead. <laughs> I like that fucking box! Respect that he would then lose when he goes to the Middle East when he's just taking bodies out of moving cars. <laughs> what the? Lloyd, what are you doing? <laughs> Lloyd Banks is ready! <laughs> oh. Did God, look at that huge man! I don't think he even fired a single shot. Lloyd, get, nope. work on your reflexes, man. What the? Did so, we do uh, that or did we just see friendly fire? I'm not sure. sure. I'm, I'm not sure Finally. entirely. Now we're just supposed to, like, find, uh, evidence of K-Doc. So you think, oh, we have to find a room somewhere back in the house, somewhere in the house, right? No. Nope, we have to go back where, before we were, with K-Doc's dead corpse. What? Yeah. Did yep. carry his corpse? Nope, we just have to backtrack. His body is the evidence. That is true. They only built, they only built half a level. <laughs> I like that there's a toilet in this room. <laughs> Ah, you know, the, uh, regular old, uh, ammo slash shitter room. Yeah, it's in case you get locked in the safe, you're covered. Yeah. There's a TV in here for what? there's a TV in here so we can watch some, some great 50 cent music videos and perhaps a Tony Ayo interview while I take a shit. <laughs> here, let me, let me just lockpick the drywall. Yeah. Man, 50, they, they didn't use fireproof drywall or nothing. It's like they're asking for this place to burn down. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So yeah, in general, there are some side objectives in this game, like getting five of those safes unlocked, but there's no fucking reason to. See, I never could huh? figure out what room to go to to find the evidence, because this game doesn't do a very good job of directing you. Oh, hey. The have was long gone. I figured maybe k Dog could give me some answers. Hey, k Dog, are you guilty or not? Diane, I'm about to hit a big-ass ramp. <laughs> we have the same watch. Yeah, this... This, this gang tattoo was blurry. And I weird. got two watches for some reason. I don't know why. When one of your hands is shot off, you can at least tell the time. Come on, man. <laughs> okay, dog's dead. He needs to know the time in his grandma's house so he'll know when he needs to take the trash out. Some people just like to feel symmetrical, okay? <laughs> Yo, this whole place on lockdown, man. Yo, if you can locate the wireless unit that powers the security shutters, I can send a transmission through your mobile. And I might be able to open it. Oh, well, you had him right there. Give me a holler when you He was right. In he was rubbing <laughs> the side of his head against your gun. <laughs> Pay attention, Lloyd. I don't feel properly immersed because that voice sounded like it was standing right next to me. Uh, and not coming through perhaps a radio or a cell phone. Listen, 50 Cent will just take care of your immersion, baby. Or no, no, what? No, this is like, what, 2004? So, what, like a two-way pager would have been the one to use back why, then. Why are these SWAT guys bringing their wallets into battle? <laughs> Stay in the house for safes. Safe cracking banks. That's what they call them. Cool! <laughs> mm -hmm. Nice work, Fitty! Aye, when I do this, all fucking hell about to break loose! Just so you know, I'm gonna send an emergency signal to a faulty shutter inside the kitchen, which will trigger the entire alarm system to go off. So get ready to get the fuck out of Dodge! So, I'm assuming uh, everyone knows who Phil Lamar is as far as voice acting goes. Mm -hmm. Just that just that if you need a, like, a person to voice a black guy, you get Phil Lamar. He has done he has done like hundreds of video game and cartoon roles, and this is one of the ones that he's embarrassed to talk about. <laughs> I mean, do you blame him? Oh, by the way, it told us a warning about, like, how we should get the fuck out of Dodge, and normally enemies are supposed to stream in, but they kind of got glitched there and are now stuck. I remember this part, <laughs> yes! Damn. Okay, I think I may have gotten past the find the evidence part. I remember enemies not being able to come inside the building properly. Interesting. <laughs> I've done three playthroughs of this game once in those three playthroughs they were able to get through. <laughs> <laughs> they were waiting for the judge to get back to them with a warrant. <laughs> yeah, that's the shot I was talking about. Lloyd, come on. Lloyd, see, like, <laughs> just, <laughs> just strolling see, off like, through the, this. The inclusion of that and the fact that you have to hold your aim steady. Good lord, that man's head was missing completely! Completely yep, decapitated. <laughs> Guy, what kind of gun are you using? A very cool one. <laughs> But yeah, like, the, the inclusion of, like, that thing where, like, you have to hold your aim steady for a second before it actually activates is one of the things that also makes me think that, yeah, they're supposed to be stealth at one point. Like, it might be one of those things where 50 Cent looked at it and it was like, nah, I'm too badass for stealth. <laughs> 50 Cent just walks out with, like, 30 wallets in his hand. <laughs> Man, it's time to use one of these credit cards. Oh, man. That's gangster. It is pretty gangster, Fiddy. We really are bulletproof. <laughs> you really are worth 50 cent, man. <laughs> you sliced the heck out of that man's armpit. Hey, yo, pretty man, I got hit up. I make it look easy. This game has this game has some interesting sound effects. Yeah, for some reason, I don't know what triggers it. Sometimes they do that weird recursive sound, and then Fifty Cent says, "I make it look easy." It has happened. Well, I have not shot anyone, and I'm currently near death. <laughs> he does make it look easy. Yeah, I make <laughs> it look easy to to stand around and not do anything. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure Dr. Dre went and made, like, instrumentals specifically for this game. 
Like, this one right here, I don't think is from a song. It think... would surprise me. It kinda seems pretty easy to make some alright rap beats. Yeah, I mean, then, you know, it's, it's Dr. Gray, he's one of the best yeah. at it, but, like... And I mean, you already have them involved in the project. And he's already he's already here, so... Yeah. yeah. Delicious pills. So, by the way, one of the things that just happened a bit earlier was... Counter kills cannot be done if somehow, like, they are even... The enemy is even two centimeters elevated above you. Oh. We got that high ground. <laughs> 50 Cent cannot deal with high ground. Mm. And it can know, you can't take me to the pity zone. Oh. That was a weird... Oh, okay. How the fuck did you get in here? Is that any way How the fuck were you on top of the microwave? <laughs> he just kind of propped himself up into a ball. <laughs> I like to think he's like a cat just hanging out on top of 50 cents furniture. Two federal agents. That's bullshit. I'm being set up. Not the character, that's just what Eminem does. <laughs> Look how huge his arms are in that jacket! Well, I hear Australia's kind of nice this time of year. I never ran from nothing. Well, in that case, you better find out what the fuck's going on. Or well, quick. Can you help me? Yeah, no problem. For the right price. Is money the only thing that matters to you? That's pretty funny coming from a guy who calls himself 50 Cent. Also, you just uh, monologued about how this guy was all about, about the money back when we met him. Yeah, no. With the feds on my Come on, 50, you know this guy. <laughs> I need he back. likes money. Two weeks later, they're still talking at that apartment.